I think you've probably had a look at the field, and it is one of the most exciting Vodacom Durban Julys I've seen for many a year. I don't know about how exciting it's going to be with nobody there, but no. um, uh, I think it's a quality field. Really smart, older horses around, I think, these days. I'm not totally convinced about the three-year-old crop, so I think, in my opinion, well, I'm, I may be wrong there, but, but I think that it could be um, the older horses are going to fight this one out. You've got to, with any kind of sanity, start off with do it again because a horse that's won two consecutive races and has been most convincing at Gravel has had an ideal prep, but he, he obviously has Socrat and Rainbow Bridge to beat. Yeah, and he looks like he's coming back to his best. And uh, he's looking quite pretty in his new suit. But maybe Justin get himself a nice suit like that made for himself as well for July Day. Nice colours. <laughs> Um, but uh, he looks like he's, he's coming back to form. And obviously it doesn't end there for Team Snaith. I mean, they've got, they've got five in the race, including Maabi Gold and Bill Garion and Bunker Hunt. I mean, they, they've got some serious firepower. Yes, it's a, it's a nice hand. And, um, you know, obviously it'll play into their hands in, in terms of whatever tactics they decide. You mentioned the three-year-olds. Now, this horse got the green light. Reminds me a lot of Socrates. He was precocious as a two-year-old. I mean, you only got beaten a short head by the stable companion in the same race. And then won two grade one races at three, and he's trained on beautifully. And even by epaulette, there's no doubt that his run in the victory moon with top weight shows that he gets 10 furlongs comfortably, even though that was only nine. Um, well, he got 10 furlongs at um, Turfentine in the, in the Summer Cup, where I felt he was a little unlucky to lose. But he showed that he stays uh, a 10th furlong at Turfentine. So uh, he'll, get, he'll get 11 furlongs at Gravel, I'm fairly confident if he turns up, uh, you know, in the right frame of mind and in good form. 300 metres left to go, Zelzal, Al Mutawakel on the outside, Queen Supreme, at Yarp, Socrates is making up the ground right up on the outside, it's Al Mutawakel, Zelzal, Socrates right up on the outside, here comes Socrates, down the inside, Zelzal, Zelzal and Socrates, Zelzal has beaten Socrates. Well, we've got to do something to break the stranglehold that the mountain goats have got on the race. And obviously, um, the Daily News 2000 and, of course, the Woolhavington gave a sign to the KwaZulu Natal and Cape Town guys watch out for the Gautengas. We mean business. Yeah, look, uh, I mean, our horses are often over overlooked, um, but uh, and they generally perform very, very well. Um, uh, you know, I always think that um, unless you have. Horses good enough to beat the Joburg horses. Those are the ones who decide who the champions are because it's just sheer numbers thing too, you know. I mean, there's 2,500 horses in Joburg. There's 850 in, um, in the Cape and probably the same in Natal, or maybe 1,000. So, you know, on average, we're probably going to have, uh, you know, a fairly strong bunch of horses around. I always say our horses are the horses to beat. Socrates himself would appear to have had the most perfect preparation. Badly he needed the run in the horse chestnut came on in leaps and bounds behind him, gave Tiro del Figa a, a good walloping, even though there is a weight turnaround, but he looks absolutely spot on. Yeah, he should be at his fittest, Andrew, it's his third run back. He's doing really well. Uh, it is his last run, he goes on to stud after that. And he's probably ready for stud now. As I said, super fit and well. He's got to travel again. Um, we've got to just hope that everything goes well, whereas the others are all based there. Uh, he got close, to, very close to do it again in the... Queen's Plate, I think it is. Yeah, and um, and he showed in his last start that he's coming back to himself. So, you know, the bit of luck in running, you cannot be overlooked. The gallop yesterday morning, you weren't messing around. It's a good time, Mike, for the for the five furlong down the down the straight. Yeah, he he, he, he ran a very good time. Um, I felt he just needed a little uh, a little sharpening up. You know, he's had he's got all the miles in his legs. 
Uh, we'll just concentrate on his speed now. Um, and he's in a good place. You know, he's a very happy horse, sound horse. Well, the race wouldn't be the same without Team De Kock. So, once again, thank you for making South Africa's greatest horse race something truly special without the crowd. Cheers. Thank you, Andrew. The punter is vitally important in making racing sustainable. Owners, trainers and breeders should be driving their betting into official pools such as Interbet's upgraded tote platform as that contribution helps keep the whole show on the go. Stronger tote pools will boost the stakes pot and make it more attractive to own and breed racehorses. It's a virtuous cycle. Interbet makes deposits available instantly. Interbet offers great customer care with same-day payouts. Our clients can watch all racing live via high-quality streaming. Live betting is offered on many sports from all around the world.